So are you annoyed that they've automatically updated you to Microsoft Edge Chromium? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove it as well as block the installation. So Microsoft Edge Chromium is the new browser Microsoft has put out and they've recently announced that they're gonna be automatically updating clients to this new version. And honestly, it is safer, faster version of Microsoft Edge, but there are many use cases that you might not want that to happen. So what I wanna do is show you one, how to get rid of it if it's already been installed, as well as prevent it from being installed automatically. Now this will still allow you to install it manually if you choose to do so, but it won't be forced on you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my start menu and I'm gonna to go to the settings icon. That's that little gear icon right above power. And if I click on settings, in here, I'll find a node called apps. And let me find it here. It's not alphabetical, but it's right there. You'll see apps, uninstall defaults, and optional features. That's what I wanna click on. This is gonna show me a list of the currently installed applications and give me the ability to remove them. So what you can do is you can either type right here and search for Edge, or if you don't wanna do that, you can simply scroll down and you will find Microsoft Edge in this list. Again, you can see that fanciful icon there indicating the new Microsoft Edge Chromium version. Now, if I click on that, you'll see that I have two options over here, modify and uninstall. And if uninstall is available, then simply click it and that will remove Microsoft Edge. Right? Pretty straightforward process. But what I've heard from many people is that if Microsoft Edge was installed on their system automatically through Windows updates, this uninstall is grayed out. So some people are finding that they can't come in here and remove it simply by clicking uninstall. So I wanna show you how you can still get rid of it if uninstall is unavailable through this screen. So this is by far the easiest way to do that, but let's pretend that that uninstall was grayed out and I couldn't click on it. It wouldn't allow me to uninstall it. Right. Now what we're gonna to have to do, there's, there's actually several methods we can use to remove uh, Edge Chromium. A couple of, one of them is gonna involve modifying the registry. One of them we can kind of automate that process. And then we also have a toolkit that Microsoft put out that'll allow us to prevent that from being installed again. So let's take a look at all of these methods. All right. First of all, to get rid of this, we're gonna to have to open up what's known as a command prompt. So I want you to go to your start menu, and now where it says type here to start, all right? I want you to type in the letter CMD, Charlie Mike Delta for command prompt. One of your options should be to run as an administrator. You'll see that right out there because we do need to be an administrator and make sure that our shell or our CMD has administrative access to make these changes. I'm gonna zoom back out and that's gonna require me to go back to my start menu and type CMD again. And I'm simply gonna click run as administrator. I'll click yes to the UAC because I know that I'm allowing this application to have administrative access. And right, now let's make sure we've opened this as an administrator, otherwise this whole process won't work. Up at the top, you'll see where it says administrator colon command prompt. That lets me know that this particular program has administrative access, which we'll need to force the removal of Edge. All right, now the next thing we need to do is we need to navigate into the folder where Edge is installed so that we can run the setup program and tell it to remove Edge instead of installing it. Now you'll need the path to where the program's installed and I wanna show you an easy way to find that. Open up your file explorer. I'm gonna click on the little yellow icon down here on my taskbar. In here, you wanna to navigate to this PC, C colon, Program Files x86, double clicking on each one, Microsoft, Edge, Application, and then there's gonna be a version number. You'll see mine says 83.0.47 and some numbers there. Yours might be slightly different. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and click on whatever version you have. Inside there, you will find an installer folder. We're gonna double click on that. Inside there, you're gonna see setup. Don't double click on it. I just wanted to show you that it's there. So what I need is I need this path that's currently up in my address bar there. So the easiest way to do that is to click in the address bar and you'll see the whole path turns blue. Just make sure you select that, right click and choose copy. So that's gonna copy that whole path we're gonna go back over to our command prompt and we're gonna type in CD. 
That's short for change directory. And then we're going to right click and it should paste that path in there for you automatically. And then we're going to hit enter. So now you'll see that I have my prompt here says C colon program files and that long path into the folder where setup is located. I need to make sure that my command prompt is pointed into that folder so that we can run that setup program and remove edge. So now that we're in that folder, let's look at the command required to remove edge. We're going to run setup.exe space dash dash uninstall space dash dash system dash level space dash dash verbose dash logging space dash dash force dash uninstall. All right, now let's take a look at this command before we run it so we can see what's going on here. Setup.exe, that's the program that we're trying to execute. That normally installs Edge. But since we said dash dash uninstall, we're telling setup don't install, uninstall Edge. And then we got a couple other parameters, this dash dash system level, dash dash verbose logging. That's just going to make sure we remove Edge completely, log in case there's any problems. And then that last switch there, uh, dash dash force uninstall is the key, right? That's the one that's going to remove Edge from our system. It's going to say, I don't care what you say, remove it anyway. We're going to force the removal of this application. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it doesn't look like anything happened, but did you notice over here that my icon disappeared? That fanciful E that represented that Microsoft Edge Chromium that we don't want, it disappeared. If I go to my start menu now and I type in Edge, notice it's the old, what they call the legacy Edge. It's that white E on that blue background. We have successfully removed Microsoft Edge Chromium. All right, so not a super straightforward process, right? I need to know where that folder is. I need to go in there and run that command to remove that, but not too bad. And I'll make sure that command as well as that path location are in the show notes down below the video here. Um, also keep in mind that that version number might be slightly different on your system. Whatever it is, just double click on it, get in there and find that installer folder. That's where you're gonna find setup.exe. All right, so that's only half the battle, right? We have removed the Microsoft Edge Chromium from our system, but we know how Windows updates work. Eventually, they're going to push it back out to my system. They want us to use this new version of their browser, and we might have a very good reason for not wanting to. So let me show you how to prevent it from coming back. Now, this can be a little bit tricky. It's not a straightforward process, but if you just be careful, take your time, you'll be able to get this done. There's two methods I want to show you. There's actually several methods we can use. One is more appropriate for an enterprise environment where I need to do this to multiple systems. I want to show you the methods you can use on your system at home. All right. So it involves modifying the registry. And we've probably heard that editing the registry can be dangerous, and it can be. But as long as you're careful and you pay attention to what you're doing, you shouldn't have any problems. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to uh, open up a file that I already created, and then I'm going to show you how to create it. This right here is going to create a new entry in the registry, and you can tell what it's going to do, right? If you look right there, it says, do not update to Edge with Chromium. We're telling the system, don't do the updates. That D word of one right over here, that's a fancy way of saying yes. So we're basically telling the system, do you want to update to Edge Chromium? I mean, do you not want to update to Edge Chromium? Yes, we're making that true, all right? So this is what you got to type in. You need to type this in exactly or it won't work. Again, I'll make sure it's in the notes down below the video here. And I also want to point out this blank line right here, all right? That actually is very important. If you do not have a blank line between the Windows Registry Editor version 5.0 and that H key local machine information below that, this will not work. So make sure you type this in exactly as you see it on the screen here. Or copy and paste it from what we've provided you below would be the safest option. Now I did this in Notepad. So it's not a pro there's not a special program you need or anything like that. The trick is to make sure that you change the file extension. Normally Notepad files end in a .txt. If you open up Notepad, let me copy this data here. Let's pretend that you copied it from our uh, YouTube video. 
So I'm going to do a right click and copy. And then I want you to open up Notepad. And I want you to paste that data in there, just like you saw it in my file. If I go File and Save, and I'm going to put it on my desktop so it's easy to find. And I'm going to call this one Block 2. And I'm going to click Save. Notice the icon is different from the one I've got above there. That's because by default, Notepad wants to create a text file, not a registry file. That's not going to work. So when you go to save this file, say File, Save. I want you to go down to the bottom here, and you see where it says Save as Type Text Documents? I want you to change that. All right. Hit that list and change it to All Files. When you change it to all files, Notepad will let you name it whatever you want. So I want you to add to the end of whatever you name it, and you can name it anything. You can name it Fred, you can name it Block IE, or I Love Puppies. Doesn't matter, it doesn't change the functionality, but just name it .reg. So notice I added to the end of the name Block2-rge. I'm going to click Save, and now you notice that the icon is different. You see how it's got those little Rubik's Cube looking blocks flying away there? That's a registry file. That's what you need. All right. Once you've created that file and you've saved it somewhere you can find it, simply double click on it. Say yes to the UAC and it's going to warn you, hey, you're modifying the registry. You need to be careful. You need to make sure you know what you're doing. We're going to say, yeah, we know what we're doing. Mike showed us the way. We click yes. And then it tells me, hopefully, it says the keys and values contained in, and then the name of the file, have been added to the registry. And we can click OK. And that's it. You're done. That added that entry to your registry. So now your system knows if they try to push out Edge as an update, they're not going to allow it. It's going to say, nope, I do not want that update. So now you can be sure that your system will not automatically update to Microsoft Edge Chromium. All right. Now, you can still do it manually. If you want to open up your Edge legacy and browse and download and install Microsoft Edge Chromium when you're ready, you can still do that. This will not prevent you from installing it. It's just going to prevent it from automatically installing it when you weren't ready for it. Now, I do want to show you one more method you can use because some people might not be comfortable uh, modifying the registry or creating that reg file. And by the way, if you are comfortable with creating a registry entry on your own, you can simply go into that H key local machine, follow that path I showed you, and just type in the key manually. You can create the key manually, or you can use this registry file. The next method I want to show you involves downloading something from Microsoft. I'll make sure I put the notes for you or the link to it in the notes below. And what you're going to download is something called the Microsoft Edge Chromium Blocker Toolkit. Microsoft understands that some people might not be ready for Microsoft Edge Chromium. So they made this toolkit to make it a little bit easier for us to block the installation of Edge Chromium. All right. So you're going to download that from Microsoft. I'm also going to make a folder on my C drive. So I navigated to this PC, C colon, and I'm going to make a new folder. I just right click new folder. And I'm going to name that folder. Oops. Let's name that folder something like Blocker Toolkit. Again, you can name it whatever you want. Really doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go back over to where I downloaded that file from Microsoft, and I'm going to double click on that. I will have to agree to the EULA, so I'll click Yes. And then it says, where do you want to put this toolkit that you just downloaded? And I'm going to click the Browse button. And I'm going to find that folder that I just created. It should be on my C drive called Blocker Toolkit right there. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK to the little dialog box. It goes really quick and it extracts all those files out. Now if I navigate back to that folder that we just created, you're going to see what Microsoft made for me. Four files. There should be four files in here. The first two, all right, these are for your IT admins. If you want to bring this into a group policy that you can apply this to multiple machines on your system, these are your two files you'll need. Maybe we'll do another show about that if you're interested. Below that, I've got this help file. If you double click on that, it'll open up a browser window and it'll show you how to use this tool. 
So in case you forget what I'm showing you here, you can always go back to that help file and go, oh yeah, that's what he said to do. All right. The one we're really interested in is this one right here. That's the actual script that is going to allow us to block edge. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out and we're going to go back to that command prompt that we used previously. I'm going to type in CMD and I'm going to make sure I choose to run as administrator. I'll say yes. And then I'm going to change directories into that folder we just created. This should be an easy one. CD for change directory, C colon backslash, and then whatever you name that folder, right? I called mine blocker toolkit. So you can see here, I'm just changing directories into that blocker toolkit folder, and I'm going to hit enter, All right? Now, if I type in dir, I'll see those four files. dir is short for directory, and I'll see those four files, all right, that we just looked at a minute ago, right? There's the two group policy files there, right? There's the help file down there, and there's the script that I want to run. This is the what Microsoft made for me. So if I wasn't comfortable making that registry file, Microsoft said, that's fine. Just run this script. We'll make it for you. That way you're sure there's no typos and we don't mess up your system. All right. So let me zoom back out. And I'm going to type in the name of that script, edge chromium blocker.cmd. So edge chromium blocker.cmd. And I'm going to add a forward slash question mark to the end of it. Let me zoom in there because this is another way that you can get help. If you can't remember how to use this tool, type in that, that name of that file and do a forward slash question mark. If I hit enter, it'll show me exactly how to use this tool. And look at there, right? What am I trying to do? If you want to block Microsoft Edge, type in edge chromium underscore blocker dot CMD machine name forward slash B. If you want to unblock it, maybe you've decided, you know what, I've waited long enough, I'm now ready for Chromium. Uh, you can type in edge chromium blocker CMD forward slash U. This will allow Windows Update to then install Microsoft Edge Chromium for you. And then the dash H is the same thing as doing the forward slash question mark. You'll get to this help file. All right, so let me zoom back out. The reason it asks for machine name is this can actually be used to do remote computers as well. If you're doing the local machine, the one you're sitting at, you just leave the machine name blank. Don't worry about it, and it will automatically apply to the local machine. If you had other systems on your network, if you're an IT person, uh, you can also use this tool to remotely block uh, or block this on remote systems. All right, so it's going to be Edge Blocker. Oops. Let me double check my syntax there. It is going to be edge chromium slash blocker dot cmd space forward slash b. Right? Remember, I left the machine name out because I'm doing it to the local system. I hit enter, and it'll tell me that the operation completed successfully. So this is the same thing as doing the registry entry that I showed you just a minute ago, except you're using a script that Microsoft provided. So you can do both of them. As you can see, I just did both of them. It won't hurt anything, but you don't need to. To block Edge Chromium, choose whatever method you feel most comfortable with. And that's going to allow you to prevent Edge Chromium from being installed automatically through Windows Update. Hey, make sure you check out the playlist for more Windows 10 how-tos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.